boys and girls, it's lovely to see you. Hope you've all been enjoying the nice weather. Well, today we are going to do Superworm by Julia Donson. And Superworm, oh, he is just so super. We just love Superworm and all the nice things that he does for people until the horrible lizard captures him. So I hope you've read the story. Okay, what you're going to need is a sheet of paper with one, two, three, four lines and two circles there for Superworm's eyes. When you're ready, take the lid off your pen, put it in the top, remember not to lose it. And first of all, we're going to do Superworm and his eyes. So first of all, we'll do one little dot there, one little dot there. And then we're going to do his nose, which comes down like that. Great. And then we're going to start here and we're going to go down like this, up, down, up again, whoop, nearly to the end of the paper. Then the next thing we need to do is the next part of his body. And it just comes from about here. And see if you can keep your hand quite steady and just follow the pattern and the shape round. Well done. Now what we need to do is put some little lines like that. Oh, that's really good. He's now looking more like a little worm. There we go. See if I can get them over here. Well done. Now, he's outside super warm, isn't he? And he's got lots of little mini beast friends. So we're going to fill in the rest of the picture. Now up here is holding, we're going to be doing this picture. This picture here. And he's outside with some of his little mini beast friends. So the first thing we're going to do is, is holding a little rock and you need to just do that sort of shape on top of them like that. And then there's a little beast up here, I'm not really that sure, two little eyes. A little beak bit that goes like that. Two little bits that go like that. And then a little body that goes a bit like that. Well done. And then legs that go a bit like that. And that little mini beast is on top of a rock. And if we put some little dots, it looks better then. It looks more like a rock. Now we're going to do a beautiful dragonfly. You know what a dragonfly is? Oh, they are so beautiful. If you see one, have a little look. It's got a little head. Two little bits that might be antenna type bits off the top of its head. Two little eyes like that. And then a long, sharp body like that. Now the dragonfly's wings, they're a wee bit different from butterfly's wings, aren't they? They go up one like that, and then see if you can go up again like that. Fantastic. Then another wing like that, and then another wing like that. Well done. Give it some little tiny stripes there. And then on the wing, oh, they are so fine. They are like paper wings. If you do some little lines and then that little shape, it makes it look like dragonfly. Give him a little smile. I've not left much room on his head for a little mouth. Okay, we're going to now do some beautiful flowers and some more little mini beasts. Let's do another little mini beast down here. Now this little one, mm, it might be a little beetle. Let's have a look and see what it turns out like. One eye, two eye, 
let's give it these squinty eyes. Maybe it needs to go to the optician. And then one bit that goes like that and one bit that goes like that. And then a little mouth bit that goes like that. And then its body kind of comes down a bit like that. Well done. And then it's got these little legs oh, that come down like this. Maybe, oh, let's see. And then just give it some little stripes like that. Some little bit of that. Mm, not really sure what that one is. Doesn't look very friendly anyway. Now, we're going to split our picture up because it's outside and if we go like this but watch you do not go through super warm there we go and now we're going to do one of our trees now the tree is far away and when things are far away do they look big or do they look small yes they look small so let's do one of our nice trees Let's put our apples. I'm sure you're very, very good at them now. And put our circles. There we go. Beautiful. Now, down here, we're going to put some exotic flowers. Do you know what exotic flowers? Flowers that are quite unusual. So if we do a circle, make it quite big. And we do some big petals like this wow how clever are you and then a stem and then a leaf there and a leaf there and we'll do the same up here petals circle petals stem and leaf let's do some different ones here we do three little bits like that and then we just do as if it's just little grassy looking bits on it there. That's a wee bit different, isn't it? Well done. And down here, we've got another little brick or stone like that. Put some little... Okay. And on it, we've got... Maybe a little caterpillar. Let's have a look. Little antenna. Two little eyes. And then if you do those little like semicircles. And then all its little legs. And it's just like the hungry caterpillar. Now we also need to do lots of bits of grass. So remember we're not going to be writing on our top line because it would just run into our picture there we go beautiful and up here i think what we'll do is we'll do some more little flowers little tiny ones there's one there there's another one you might want to put some but um of your own kind of flowers in like tulips or maybe bluebells would be lovely up here Yes, you guessed, it's going to be our sunshine. It's always sunny in Julia Donaldson's books. There we go. Now, if you want to do some more, I just love flowers. So I'm going to put some more little flowers there. And there you go. You've done super warm. There is there. Oh my goodness, it just looks much the same. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to put super warm is super long. Super warm is super strong. So get your pen ready. Go to the second line. Now, sometimes I like to put a little dot. And the reason that I put a little dot is I know that I don't start too far over in the, on the line. I start at the beginning. So, super warm, that's his name, and it's also the beginning of a sentence. Capital S R P 
pair and you put under the line a er and you've written super because super worm is two words put together so super let's do worm with oh i wish you were here helping me sound out these words oh er hmm super worm space a little connective a little tiny word is a is space super long super long but we're going to break that word up and put a little line in between it so super worm is super ah er let's see if you can do that and that'll break the word up super long le o n g under the line super warm is super long full stop and you have written one sentence that's amazing now i have run out of room if you've got room you can keep going but i've run out of room so i'm going to start at the beginning again so i'm going to write now super warm again S -a -p -a -r -w -a -r -m. super warm is Again, remember your space. Super warm is super strong. So, s a p a r little line. Super warm is super long. Super warm is super strong. And a t makes st, r, o, n, g. Full stop. Well done, boys and girls. I really enjoyed doing that with you today, and I will be. It would be lovely for you to show me some of your drawings, and we can put them and let other people see them online and on Twitter and on Google Classroom. Thank you. Bye.